Hey everyone, this is Ricky Bell with Victolic VDC. I'm a senior application developer for Victolic Tools for Revit. So today I wanted to talk about one of the classic tools that has always been in Victolic Tools for Revit, and that is the Rotate Selection Tool. Rotate Selection Tool has been under the Pipe Tools menu since we first came out with Victolic Tools for Revit. Now this is a selection-based tool that will let you rotate any pipe, conduit, duct, or fabrication parts around an axis without having to leave a 3D view. Now, typically rotating components within Revit will involve a number of section views and plan views to try to get the right view to be able to use the Revit rotate command, and it can be time consuming. And this tool is designed to make that process automated and save a whole lot of time. So let's start with something very simple. I'm going to come down here to the end of this piping system. If in our scenario we wanted to rotate these components right now around this pipe right here, the rotate selection command can be found in the modify ribbon can also be found in the Victolic Tools ribbon. Uh, by clicking Rotate Selection, it's going to prompt me for an axis, something to spin around. Now my options here, I could click on this coupling because the two connectors have distance between them and they'll draw an axis line. And the same thing with pipe. Pipe connectors have distance between them and they'll draw an axis as well. So I'll click on this and now I can type anything I want into here. It's set to 45 degrees by default, but if I needed to do 22 and a half or 11.25, that would not be an issue. And then I can use the left and right arrow keys to rotate the components around. Now they stay connected, which is something that's very important within Revit. And I didn't have to leave my 3D view to do it. Now if I wanted to expand the selection and maybe use it in conjunction with the delete pipe tool, we can come up with some pretty complicated piping scenarios in a very short amount of time. You know, something like this would have taken a while, and it would have taken a couple section views to be able to pull this off. Now, there's other uses for the Rotate Selection tool. If I wanted to increase my level of detail and just make sure all my coupling ears are horizontal, I could select the coupling ears in a particular line. Click on Rotate Selection, have it spin around a piece of pipe, and fix them all at once. Even for the verticals, if these lines needed to be rotated, you could select the entire drop and use Rotate Selection have it spin around a vertical piece. Now for larger systems, you can also use rotate selection to modify your entire model. Let's say this entire system needed to be rotated off at 45 degrees. We could use the same functionality. Highlight everything here, hit rotate selection. I'll give it some sort of vertical in the middle to spin around and then tell it 45 degrees. Now the Rotate Selection tool has some other uses when it comes to modeling changes and rolling offsets. Let's model something up to demonstrate it. I'm just going to use the Victolic IPST pipe type here. If I had something like this, and maybe it, at first it offset it to the right, and now we have to work around something else. I could do a window selection here. Now using the Rotate Selection tool in conjunction with how Revit wants to stay connected, uh, you can move this offset to the other side. I'll hit rotate selection here. I'll spin around this very first piece of pipe. And now I can just move it to the other side. And Revit stays connected, freeing up this area for you. Now another scenario where rotate selection really helps out is when you're doing drain waste and vent, and especially sloped pipe. Let's take a look at how that works. I'll model up a scenario here where we're sloping up at a quarter inch for every foot. And let's say I wanted to tie in another piece of pipe to this main. So I could draw right off of here. I'll hit the space bar to match its elevation. And I could draw off of here at 45 degrees. Now this newly created piping, I can use the rotate selection around the main to take it up. Okay, now drawing off of this, I'll right click on the connector and hit draw pipe. Holding down the shift key, it'll lock it into 90 degrees. And now it's created this 60 degree elbow here, which is pretty difficult to get in Revit natively. Now one of the other ways that rotate selection can really help you out is with fabrication spool sheets. Now to do this, I'm gonna need some spool sheets. So I'm gonna use some of the other Victolic tools for Revit functions here to generate some spool sheets for you.
Okay, now that we have a spool sheet, I'm going to zoom into this elevation top view. Now Revit provides ways to rotate the views on the sheet natively. If you were to click on the view, there's a green bar at the top that'll tell you you can rotate 90 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise, and you're kind of locked into that. One of the downsides of using the Revit way of doing it is that if you have annotation tags on there or text on there, that will rotate as well. So let me put a couple tags on there to show you. So now that I have these two items tagged, if I were to use the Revit rotate command right here, you'll see what I'm talking about. It seems to have disappeared, but really what happens is it moved down here. Elevation top has turned in one direction. The tags have turned in the other direction, and it's just not as readable as it used to be. When really our goal is just to rotate the pipe, not necessarily the tags. So I'm going to click undo. One of the lesser known features of the rotate selection tool is the fact that it can rotate views on your sheet. So I'll give it a single click here. I'll click rotate selection and the dialog immediately appears because it, in this case, it doesn't need an axis. So now that I click to rotate, I can get the piping system exactly how I want it and the tags stay in relation to the view that you're looking at. Okay, so that's the Rotate Selection tool, one of the classic tools from Victaulic Tools for Revit. It's an automated way of rotating pipe, duct, conduit, and fabrication parts within your model and also your views on your sheets. Thanks for watching.